All right, here we go. Question number four from our college algebra homework number two in my lab math. We've got two functions. f of x is 4x plus 1. g of x is the square root of x. And it wants us to find f circle g and g circle f and the domain of each. So up here in this window, let's get started. First things first, we need to find f circle g of x which means that we need to find f of g of x. And that means that we need to take g of x and plug it into f of x. So in this case, we're going to take all of g and plug that into f. And so here's what that's going to look like. Taking g of x into f, that's going to be 4 times the square root of x plus 1. And that should be the answer for f circle g. So let's see if that's correct. 4 square root of x tab plus 1. Yay. Oh, and now it wants me to find G circle F. Okay, so now to find G circle F of X, that means that we want to find G of F of X. And now we're going to plug and play from the inside out. So all of F of X, this time is going to plug into G of X. So if we could erase that, now we're going to have all of f plugged into the x in g of x. So if I replace this x with all of f of x, that'll all be under the radical. All right, so here's what we're going to have. That's going to be the square root of 4x plus 1. And do you see that? That's all of this 4x plus 1 plugged into this x. So now let's plug that into our MyLab math and see if we're right. Square root of 4x plus 1, all under the radical, a. And so now it wants the domain of f circle g. So going back to our previous answer, I want you to notice what's under the radical. The only thing under the square root is x, so if I'm going to find the domain, that means that I need to take everything under the square root, which is x, and set it greater than or equal to 0, and solve for x. Now luckily the x is already solved for, so in order to write that with interval notation, everything greater than or equal to zero would be everything from zero to infinity. Notice the zero gets a bracket because it's greater than or equal to means that zero is included. And so there's our domain for f circle g. We need a bracket and that came from the keyboard. Zero to infinity and a parenthesis. Check it. Now for the domain of G circle F, we're going to go to G circle F and take the stuff under the radical, which is called the radicand. And to find the domain, we need to say everything under the square root has to be greater than or equal to zero. And then we need to solve that for x. So moving the 1 over makes that a minus 1. That moved over gives us 4x greater than or equal to negative 1. Divide both sides by 4. x is greater than or equal to negative 1 fourth. So to write that in interval notation, that's going to be everything from negative one-fourth to infinity. Again, greater than or equal to negative one-fourth means if you think about it on a number line, we're going from negative one-fourth 
and everything above that. So let's put that into my lab math and see if we got that right. We need a bracket. We need a negative one fourth comma infinity with a parenthesis. Check it. Bam. There you go. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.